All right, I'm going to do a video exposing the fact that Roman Catholic priests, the priests of the Mystery Babylon religion known as Roman Catholicism, Romanism, as I sometimes like to call it, uh, are nothing more than just modern day Pharisees, the religious Pharisees that were walking around causing all kinds of problems in the days of Jesus Christ and also in the days of the early church. And just showing from scripture that Roman Catholic priests are the spiritual descendants of the Pharisees. Plain and simple. Roman Catholicism is of the devil. Roman Catholicism is nothing more than Mystery Babylon. But, so, how are they like Pharisees? Well, let's look at some of the attributes of a Pharisee. First of all, uh, the Pharisees would blasphemously steal God's titles and apply it to themselves. Okay, you probably know where I'm going with this. Matthew 23, verse 7 to 10. It says, And greetings in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi, but be ye not called ra sorry, be not ye called Rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And call an old man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye, neither neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. Hmm. Notice that. Uh, and call no man your father. Okay. Uh, Catholics, what they do is they retort and say, you know, well, you call your father by that title. Okay. This is a little canned answer by popish persons, and it totally ignores the fact that the context is dealing with religious Pharisees. Jesus Christ is rebuking the concept of using God's titles of father and rabbi and master as religious titles, okay? I should also point out too that the uh, by using this argument, because the papists, they're masters of ducking and weaving, and instead of actually addressing the verse head on, they'll just try to, to, to uh, chaff and redirect with the little canned answer. But this just goes to show, because Roman Catholic priests, they call themselves father as a religious title. Jesus says, and call no man your father upon the earth. Hmm, not doing very good for you know, Christ's priesthood, apparently, while well, they're violating Christ's command and doing what the Pharisees did. Also, the next point is that the Pharisees, uh, popes, sorry, like the Pharisees, popish priests will sport around long robes as an robes, sorry, as an outward show of religiosity. See, religiosity, not salvation, but an outward show of religious piety of Romanism. Uh, Luke chapter 20, verse 45 to 47. Then in the audience of all the people, he said unto his disciples, Beware of the scribes, which desire to walk in long robes, and love greetings in the markets, and the highest seats in the synagogues, and the chief rooms, uh, sorry, and the chief rooms at feasts, which devour widows' houses, and for a show make long prayers, the same shall receive greater damnation. Also, Mark chapter 12, verses 38 to 40, says, uh, and he said unto them in this in his doctrine, Beware of the scribes, which love to go in long clothing, and love salutations in the marketplaces, and the chief priests in the synagogues, and the uh, upper upper sorry uppermost rooms at feasts, which devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayers. These shall receive greater damnation. Perfect description of the Roman Catholic priests. Not just the fact that they were going to receive a greater damnation at the judgment, at, sorry, at the Great White Throne judgment, but also the fact of, you know, whenever you have the Pope, because the Pope is essentially just part of the, the Catholic clergy. Whenever he goes around in his long robe, what well, he gets lots of greetings, gets lots of, you know, respect and reverence by, you know, the brainwashed papists, essentially, that, that think he's essentially Jesus Christ on earth when you get down to it. Uh, but they have these long robes. You can tell Catholic priests when they walk into, if you're just, you know, hanging out at, you know, I don't know, some fast food, like McDonald's or something like that, a Catholic priest walk in, walks in, everyone knows he's the priest because, well, he has that specific type of uniform he wears, you know, and they get the respect and reverence, you know, and they love the chief seats in the synagogues, or in this case, the chief seats, pretty much any, at any restaurant they go in, they get all this respect and reverence, you know, and they make long prayers, kind of like they're, they're chanting their Hail Marys, to their Babylonian goddess, and what's what's the what's the labor of that? Well, they receive a greater damnation. There, it's not, and plus, it's not just them going to hell, but they're taking other souls to hell with them. The poor, you know, brainwashed Catholics who are deceived by the popish false doctrines of the priesthood, the popish papist priesthood. Bit of a big term right there, but that's the truth of the matter. Roman Catholic priests are modern day Pharisees. It is the spiritual, uh, is the spirituality of the Pharisees, in plain and simple. The same uh, Jewish false religion. That the Pharisees were into that is just nothing more than traditions of men. So wanted to point that out. Roman Catholicism is of the devil. Don't be deceived by it. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.